Welcome to this breakout where we're going to show you how you can use 3D models to help enhance and improve your 2D drawing creation. We're going to be using this example of the butterfly valve that we ran through earlier and actually build this from scratch. And here's a preview of what we're going to end up with. First of all, we need to activate the modeling window inside BricsCAD Pro and enable the sketch features by creating the sketch feature and setting the value to one in the command line. Now the features are activated on the ribbon, I'm going to choose the boundary selection tool to make my life easier when it comes to selecting closed regions that you can see are highlighted in the preview. Creating solid geometry in BricsCAD Pro is fast. You can take advantage of the newly enhanced quad shortcut menu to access the features. But you'll notice here, if I pick the individual regions, when I create the solid geometry and accept the feature, it will create four separate bodies for this one feature which you can assign to a different layer or you can specify a different color. Changing the visual representation of the solid geometry is really quick by using the drop down at the top of the ribbon. Using the newly enhanced quad shortcut I'll select the extrude command and using boundary selection pick the first external cylindrical profile. Under the end condition I'll set it to B so it's for both sides and the overall dimension gets split between the central plane. I've also saved some predefined views to make it easier to pick the second profile inside the initial collar. And once again, I'll change the end condition to ensure the material split both ways. And you'll notice I can merge the two solid features together. All the features and sketches are stored in the mechanical browser panel on the left hand side, making it really fast to edit. Building fast, efficient 3D models is core to BricsCAD. You'll notice here I'm going to extrude all of these tab sections in one single command. And the benefit of doing this is because each of the parameters is independently stored in the mechanical browser, making it really quick and really fast to make edits to the geometry. All of the industry standard 3D modeling commands are included with BricsCAD. For here, I'm going to be using the revolve command and I'm going to pre-select the boundary and pick the central axis. You'll notice here you get a dynamic preview and you've got the option of adding material, taking it away, and you can choose the revolution axis. So for this example, I'm just going to type in 360 degrees and revolve the first part of the stem. I can use some predefined views and you'll notice it's only used the profile that I've predefined. I'll now make another revolve command at the bottom of the component. Once again, picking the closed boundary and then choosing the dynamic preview. And you can either move it manually or just type in 360 degrees to add the material. In V25, we've added additional enhanced support for sketch-based features. And you'll notice this isn't limited purely to extrudes and revolves. I can change the end condition of this extrude and also the overall distance and you'll notice the dynamic preview updates live on screen. I'm now going to put an applied feature like a fillet to this edge to put a radius. And you'll notice in the mechanical browser in the parameters box, I can dynamically change the value and it updates live on screen. So you're getting a better visual feedback in terms of what the 3D model would look like before production. I now want to introduce a new productivity tool that we've added in BricsCAD V25. The ability to change parameters as you roll over the component. You'll notice here I've got this ball race which has got multiple sizes of this component. And when you hover over the model, it brings up the drop down so you can select the item that you need very quickly, making it very easy to make changes on the fly. And you'll see here it keeps the whole list of the parameters and this works for 3D geometry, but also 2D blocks. We can now portray the benefits of working with the 3D model in terms of creating the 2D output and show where the benefits are. Inside the drawing view, we can create using the view base command, projected first and third angle projected views from the model. And you'll notice it creates really concise detailed views. At each viewport, you can change the rendering style based on your preference. You've also got the ability to remove the viewports by hiding the outline. To interrogate the detail of the model, 
we can section through the solid geometry really quickly and you'll notice it creates a cutaway view throughout the part. So anytime the 3D model updates, your drawing will update too. You can also create detail views, so you can really drill down on certain details of the model, either using a circular or rectangular view command. We've now got a detailed drawing linked to a 3D model. So in terms of adding annotations, it's just a case of using all of your normal dimension commands to add the details to the model. And you can also assign M leaders and notes, just like you would in the normal drawing space. You can assign the dimensions on various layers. So now you've got a complete drawing pack. We appreciate you're still going to be working within the viewports. And that's why we've enhanced the status bar. To use a new status bar, simply run Use New Status Bar on the command prompt and set the value from 0 to 1. Once you've restarted BricsCAD, you're good to go. This makes it really quick to change the viewport scale rather than having to go into the viewport properties. Thanks for attending the breakout session. Here's a summary of what we've covered. I really hope you've taken some tips from this session that will benefit your workflow in the future. If you'd like to learn more about the BricsCAD V25 features, head to bricksys.com or scan the QR code.